Bland but bad for the football team from Southern California, where the sun shines a lot, the UCLA Bruins. The Bruins on the road against the tough Oregon Ducks. And you know the Ducks don't mind the puddle here and there. The conference standing in the Pac-10. The Southern California Trojans remain undefeated. UCLA Bruins are sitting right behind them. They have uh, a date with them on November 19. And so this is a big ball game for UCLA. Bruins have won 30 of the 44 games played. That 41 to 10 game last year, much of that scoring was done late by UCLA. It's a very high hanging kickoff, very short at the 13 yard line by Wills, turned upside down at the 23. And so here we go. The weather is good right now. A storm expected later in the day. It's very pleasant conditions, and UCLA will start on the ground with Eric Ball. A 215-pound senior, close to six yards on the carry. Here's your lineup with Aikman at quarterback, Estwick the fullback, Ball, as we said, the tailback, far and more wideouts. The big people up front for the Bruins, Austin Minifield, Meyer Cornish, who has been outstanding this year, Zeno and Page. High formation. That's Ball checking. And gets the ball and runs into a wall about the 31-yard line. But with the injuries, it's Brock, Cusano, and Taylor, the three big guys down. The backers are Kozak, Whitney, Ali, and Brantley, and two starters are out of that linebacking four. In the defensive secondary, Oldham, Kamar, Orton, and Young, and Oldham may be the more lethal of that bunch. David Keating, number 82, is now in. Third down and three for UCLA, and the crowd is in the game. Aikman is back. Third and short goes to Farr. Farr is hit, brought down up around the 37, but that's enough for the first down. From the 38-yard line, make it, and it's a first down for the Bruins. They go back to Eric Ball. This time, a little better reaction in the Washington State game, where they have 44 California. Second down and seven. Aikman straight back, gets a little heat. Gets his pass away, and the pass is short, intended for Arbuckle, the tight end. To realize, and at least we tried to impress upon him, that we only have two choices. One is to come out here and get beat again, and the other is to get off the floor and whip Oregon and keep moving to the championship. And that's uh, the only two things that we can do. And Holding, offense, still third down. It'll be third down and 17 for UCLA. Rod gets back into it. Stadium. Runs right down to the field. This is a football on the building, and Troy Aikman gets good protection. Long pass all the way across the field, short of the first down, as the pass is caught by Mike Farr. Good return, man. Very quick. That's a spinning, driving kick back at the 13 for Obi. Got one block, but not enough. And they'll take him down up around the 17, 16 yard line. Lethal in their offensive performance, that fourth and scoring uh, helped to a large degree by a very good defensive unit. They open from the 16 yard line, and Pete Delson is the man at quarterback, replacing the injured Bill Musgrave. Here's the pick. It comes to Latin Berry. And Berry is up just short of the 20. <laughs> Here's the lineup, as you saw the call. Nelson at quarterback. This is his fourth start in his career. Latin Berry is a veteran. Derek Lavelle is the quick tailback. The outside people are Obi and Archer, both very quick. Big people are Joe Burton, the tight end. Dykes, Cusco, Gilbert, Sunia, and Kunzman. From the 34 now, it is a first down for Oregon. And they send Obi in motion, give the ball off to Latin Berry. Berry finds a little running room, and you've got another penalty flag. From the 42 is Latin Latin Berry, he is a junior from Milwaukee, Oregon. The defensive unit for UCLA, that's as good a group of linebackers as you want to want to find. The defensive secondary for UCLA, Henley Turner, Darby, and Marcus Turner. And we may see some testing of that before the day is done. Deep. Well, it's second down and six. They take it inside replaced by Todd Anapu. So Oregon already has lost a big man, and here's a little setup for the screen pass, 
And Barry, with some daylight, gets a first down up across the 45. With uh, Hargain in there now at a wideout position as the Ducks go to trips on the left side. Pumped by Nelson. Throws it down the sideline, intended for Hargain, and it is almost intercepted. Second and ten. Well, he's going right to work. Come back the other way to LaVille. And LaVille shakes a tackler. And we'll have about three yards. All right, here comes Nelson. Third down and eight. They've had their conference on the sidelines. And back he goes, and the Bruins come after him. And he gets it away underneath. And there's an incomplete forward pass. Bruins peel back. Good kick by Milburn. And they force a fair catch signal. The ball takes a bounce. Stopped it. Down just short of the goal line. They got away with it. Scott Kozak. The ball was touched on the one-yard line. It went into the end zone for a touchback. It'll be first and ten on the 20. At their own 20. Ball has it. Got a good block from Estrick to get him around the corner. And they were stacking some wins. First down for the Bruins at their own 30. No score first quarter. Aikman, first down pass. Wide to the outside to Brendan McCracken. And McCracken. Aikman gives it to Eric Ball. Cuts it back into the middle. And number 21 comes up to hit him. I would agree with your assessment. We need to be balanced. We can't be a one-dimensional team and just have Troy Aikman. Third and four. Aikman. They get him the whole wide side of the field, and he takes off and gets the first down. There was going to be a collision because he wanted to get the first down. Of course, that's how Oregon lost their quarterback last week as he was trying to pick up the first down. It's first down for the Bruins on the Oregon 49. Eric Ball cuts back into the middle, and he's picked up. It's second down and eight for UCLA. They send Mike Carr in motion and pitch it back to Eric Ball. And Ball is hit right about the line of scrimmage. Trying to control Frank Cornish, one of the finer centers in the country. Third and seven. Aikman back, looks at far, goes underneath, Keating, ricochet catch, first down, inside the 30, and down to the 27. So it's a first down Bruins, Oregon 26, Aikman very quickly goes to far, far against Oldham, Oldham holds him until help comes, but there's still a pickup of about nine yards. A little bit aggressive, and uh, the Bruins may try to go after him deep a little later. On second and two, give it to Eric Ball. Ball is dropped short of the line of scrimmage. Third and one. The offensive line surge for UCLA. UCLA holding the ball a long time and piling up plays and time. And it's Ball running out of one tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Scott, Ko Scott Kozak had his hands on him. So second down. And a little more than ten. And there's... And he did. The ball is just inside the Oregon 21 now. That's Mike Farr going in motion. And Aikman back. To the end zone. Farr all alone. But there is a penalty flag. Hold it. That was thrown by one of the linesmen from the... Pass interference. Offense. Lost it down. That's the fourth penalty against UCLA at the 45 yards and the loss of a touchdown. No penalties on Oregon. Third down and very long. Aikman under deep pressure. Whistles it. Velasco in for a man size field goal try of 53 yards. And he's got enough foot on it. And he got it. 53-yard field goal. Maggio kicks it. 
he gets it up pretty well, which gives normally good defensive coverage by UCLA. But look at this. Oldham finds a lot of daylight. And Chris is all the way back to the 39-yard line. All right, Mike thinks, and good luck to Bill. He's got two years left. Pete Nelson, a junior, making his fourth start today. Throws underneath to his tight end, and Merton picks up nine yards. It's the Musgraves team before this, and it's Nelson's team from here on out. Incidentally, Todd Kunstman, who hobbled off the field, has come back after getting an ankle retake. He's back in there at right tackle. And handling the ball is Derek Laville, I would say. First down, just short of midfield now for Oregon. UCLA leading 3 to nothing. Nelson pitches the ball out to Lattenberry. He stops, cuts it back. And will pick up three. Tommy Prothrow, when they were in school up there, I remember when he played. Did some games. Second down, long six, short seven. Nelson pressure passes away, and it is incomplete. And Nelson is still down. Bob Brothers, son of Paul, is the backup on third down. Out of the eye. Well, he's going to put it up. And lucky that one was not picked off. Because Eric Turner had a little pressure on Milburn, but it's a high hanger. And Henley has to fair catch it back at the 12. The Oregon defensive people had a reasonably decent series last time. UCLA, though, hurt themselves more than anything else with their penalty. But this might very well be a big defensive series for the Oregon team. On UCLA's last possession, they had 15 plays, wound up with a 53-yard field goal. The play goes inside, just straight dive over the right side. Aikman on third down, hooks it to the sideline, far, looks back just in time, and Mike makes the catch at the 25. With the first quarter is over, UCLA 3, Oregon, and it's first down, UCLA from the 25. As Troy Aikman, play action, gets it off, incomplete. Second down and 10. That's the fullback, and he is rolled up. Third down, close to 11 now. Crowd gets into it. Aikman looks down the middle for more. Moore reverses direction, goes back the other way, breaks open, and into the little breeze. Good kick again, gets it to turn over. OB at his 35, 45, and 49. Good return, Pete Nelson, who's back in. And the Ducks have it first down at their own 49. And carrying the ball, the fullback Lattenberry for a couple of yards. Second down at about eight. This is Perry. And he's got a first down near the UCLA 40. Nice play for the Ducks. Scott Boatwright is in at center now, snapping the ball. And Nelson back buying time on the road, delivers to the tight end. Merkins, and he can't hold on. Second down and 10 for Oregon. Just short of the Bruin 40. This is Lavelle. First man couldn't hold him, and he slides ahead. It's third down and seven. I think the clock ran out on him. It did. I saw the 25-second clock. Now it becomes third and 12. Nelson straight back, pressure coming, pass away down the middle, overthrew the receiver, and the pass is picked off by Eric Turner. An easy interception for Eric Turner. Well, that's the first turnover for Oregon. They had seven last week. Four fumbles and three interceptions in the loss of a point to Arizona State. Bruins go to work now as Aikman drills one, complete to the tight end, Randy Austin. And Randy is he's there with the second. From the 37, this is Brian Brown. 
just about the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Brown, a good receiver, swings out of the backfield in motion. Aikman goes down the middle for our buckle. He's hit, catches the ball on the bounce and holds on. Bruins go with three wide outs and put far in motion. Pressure coming. They've got him. Back inside the 30. Tom Almeyer, number 21. Well, they peel it off. Kick is short, however, and Jerry Obi. 9-10 to go in the first half. Single back. Hand it off to it. And it is Lofill. Like George, is to the George Steinberg, if you're listening, sign him up. <laughs> Lofill carries the ball. Inside, they get the first down on Seth blocking as Lovell carries as the uh, leader in the pack hit and giving the ball away offensively, so they don't want to turn it over. There's pressure, and the heat this time gets him, uh, Billy Ray. So it's second down, and it looks to be very close to 20. That pitch is behind the ball carrier, Randy Wilhite. Let's see if what he had in mind works. They don't go after him here. The pass is thrown down the sidelines, and the pass was incomplete on third down. So far today. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a little pressure, but he gets it out of there, and it's a good hanging kick. Back at the 10. There it gets. Not that they don't have a lot of runners. Take a look. Right there, his right ankle twisted underneath the tackler. That's smart. Brown searching around, can't find any room. Brown's looking around. <laughs> I forgot he says. <laughs> that played for a long time and forgot snap counts. Second down at about 14. They give it off to Brown. Up the middle, back to about the original line of scrimmage, the 25. You get those little systems after you forget it a number of times. Third down and 10. Down in motion, that gives him trips on the left side. On top of the picture, and Aikman shoots it down the middle, and that should have been picked off. Palmer had it in his hand. Mark. This time the Ducks go, and Barcade hits a high, high hanger that Ovi calls fair catch up around his own 45. So he's it and picks up a couple of yards. Good vision. They get a three-yard pickup and second down and seven. Pete Nelson gets his pass away. The pass is caught by Terry Obi. It works both ways. So they get burned there. First down on the 44. Down the middle. Nelson hits his tight end Mertens for another first down. To the UCLA 26. The UCLA 26. Bruins leading three to nothing. Will Height cannot get loose. 66. Jim Waller. Second down, close to 12. Obi in motion. Nelson back. Passes away. Obi catches, and uh, Waller catches him just as the ball arrives. Look what I found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Third and the 12. Blitz. Up the middle, they get turned on the blitz. Randy Wilhite. against Oregon. Dead ball. Ball start. Offense. Still first down. And it's first and 15 from the 19 of UCLA. Nelson gives it to Latin Berry who steps out of a tackle. That's a good run there. That is a good tough run. It's second down and five. This is LaVille. Looks like they both did the same thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Up the middle for a first down. Derek Lopo. Terry Donahue on the right. First down and goal, Oregon, UCLA, four-yard line. 
Lavelle carries the ball. He will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It will. And Bruins lead it 3 0. Ball is knocked away. 17 seconds to go. Third down and goal. You've got to throw it here. Out of the shotgun. Pressure coming. Pass away. Incomplete. Pass intended for Joe Reitzuk. Got a chance to tie it right here, though, with Kirk Dennis on a 23-yard field goal try. That holding. Brothers. Kick is up by Dennis. And the kick is good. So Brothers got it down. And at nine seconds to go in the first half, this game is tied. Whip it down the field, and they let it go out of bounds. Down the middle with it this time, big high bounce, and accepted on the run by Sean Wills, looking to bounce to the outside, gets up to the 42, and the clock shows three seconds. One of my favorite people, Velasco, pops it up, and they'll let it go. That don't let it go out of bounds. Lattenberry went back and picked it up, and he'd have been better off. Maybe the ball wasn't going to go out of bounds. It's good to see you again, and then uh, this is my first opportunity to meet and chat with you. I know you had a chance to have dinner with Keith Jackson. What about the future of this football program? I think uh, and it's about second and five for the Oregon Ducks. Rich Brooks is a coach that always has some gimmicks up his sleeve. We haven't seen any yet today. There's going to be a loss on that play of about a yard. It's now a very long five, close to six. As Pete Nelson drops straight back. Gets pretty good protection, goes underneath with it. Not enough for the first down. High, good kick. And Darrell Fair catches back at the 25. Start this time at their own 25. And Aikman pitches to Brian Brown. And Brian got a heck of a block from Mark Estrick. Known as Ahmad Rashad. Still holds really a lot of the records. Dave Wilcox. Gus Francis. Pass incomplete. Oregon shows blitz on the shotgun. Third down and ten. And that is the case. Dead ball. They lost. Encroachment. Defense. Still third Still down. Third down. Yeah. Well, it's third and five. They get after Aikman, but he gets away. He's going for the first down, and he's got it. And he dives, gets to the ground. First down pass coming up. Pressure. He got away again. He got away from the blitzing linebacker, and he's knocked out of bounds. Just across midfield. Second down and seven for UCLA. 3-3 three, three tie, mind you, in the third quarter. This is Brian Brown. Down he goes. He's missed the entire year. Far in motion, Aikman back. Rolls to the open side of the field. Finds some no, no room this time. Number 92, Matt Brock. Didn't get much of it. And it takes a sideways bounce and is going to go out of bounds. Down around the Oregon 15-yard line. Oregon goes to work just outside their 15. Nelson, a little kick pop. Trying to shake Obi over here into a one-on-one. -on -one. And, and block, period block. Forget the audibles because it was disrupting their rhythm. Second down and two. Thank you, Mike. A little bit of a delay out of the backfield, and it uh, looks like a first down. And Art Pete Nelson trying to get something going here. Picks up the first down, gets his pass off, pass incomplete, intended for Sam Archer and Darrell Hendley defending. Second down and ten. That's Obi going in motion. They'll run it. And I think so. The man most worried right now has got to be Terry Donahue. On third and eight, bingo, big Jim Waller. UCLA should get good field position out of this. At 
the 41. Him is going to go with it. And he puts it over on the Oregon side of the field. Position to start a possession in the game. And it's on the Oregon 47. And Aikman goes quickly to the air. Intended for Mike Farr. And... But he is aggressive. They've got Brown coming this way. They've got Farr on this side. And they go down the middle with it. And the pass is incomplete. Intended for Brown. And... Third and ten. Blitz down the middle. Arbuckle fighting for the marker. Oh, okay. and they're going on fourth down. Aikman sneak, and that appears to be just enough. He just got on Cornish's back. It's been very tough on UCLA today and last year. First down at the 37. Brown with it. Down to about the 33. This year under new coach John McAvitt. Second down and seven now as Aikman takes a three-step drop, throws outside the far, and far fights and fights and gets down near. Don't be too eager. Yeah. Don't let him get behind you. Option down the line, Aikman. And he's got a first down. On first down from the 23, pitch it back to Brian Brown, who finds daylight in the middle and goes inside the 15. They're making some something happen. Second down at about two. Brown again. He'll have the first down. Two weeks ago against yep. Tulsa or somebody? They're running shoot. It was Tulsa, yeah. First down from the 12. Stay with the ground game, Brown. Spins to the 10, he'll stop there. And it's second down from the 10. Aikman still got it. And run out of bounds, short of the line of scrimmage. At 3.47 to play in the third the quarter. Aikman left. Throws to the end zone, touchdown, David Keating. Well, he flooded that area, touchdown of the ball game. And Velasco's extra point is good. At 3.41 to go in the third quarter, UCLA 10, Oregon 3. All right. This is Chris Oldham returning the ball for the Oregon Ducks. He gets up across the 25. And a big mistake that has cost his team any points either. Passes away. Got a man, Sam Archer. Archer hit just hard enough. Just hard enough. Archer couldn't handle it and stepped out of bounds. First down, Oregon, UCLA, 48. Obi in motion. Right. And this is Lavelle to the 44. More of a take away the big play this year and not as aggressive. Has a quick little pop. That'll work for the first down to the UCLA 35-yard line. First down, Ducks. Nelson gives it to his tailback. And Lavelle. Second down and six. Throws the tail back again. Big hole in the middle. And he's going to have the first down. That's Russell Lawson. Well, Lawson started wide. First down. Just short of the Bruin 25. 10-3. UCLA leads. Less than a minute now to go in the third quarter. Nelson back. Blitz is on. Gets away. Gets his pass off into the end zone for the tight end. Merton's incomplete. Second down and ten. Pitch it outside. That's Lawson. And the Bruins cover him like a blanket. So we played three quarters at Austin Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. UCLA 10, the Oregon Ducks 3. Third down and 12 at the UCLA 27-yard line. We go to the final quarter with UCLA leading in a defensive struggle 10-3. to three. Give it to Lattenberry, and Berry runs right into...
Now this is a 43-yard try by Kirk Dennis. Dennis has kicked one today from 23. Snap was high, but the hole looked pretty good, and it's good. Just squeezed it over. Just got it over. So with 14, 15 to play, Oregon now with two field goals, trails by four. Little wind in his face. <laughs> All right, the kickoff. Gets up high, and the wind will hold it up. And coming up to get it, Sean Will. Has the ball at their own 28. First down. Little pressure here on the Oregon defense. Aiken pitches to Brian Brown, and Brown is brought down. But there was a pickup of about three yards. That's his 13th tackle of the day by Tom Iyer. interested in such numbers. Here goes Brown again. He's going to have a first down, and he's still going. He's gone. There are no flags. Touchdown, Bruins. Brent Velasco is in. The snap goes through the hands of the holder, Maggio. He's running around looking for some help. Now throws it. And it's incomplete. It hit the ground. And just that quickly, the Bruins bounce out to an even bigger lead of 10 points. This is with the wind. Two-yard line, Oldham. The 10-yard line. He loved it, didn't he? Yeah, he used that. All right, Pete Nelson back. Throws intended for OB. Incomplete. All smiles on the UCLA sideline. Handed off inside. Lattenberry, the fullback, shaking around, trying to find some running room. And he is finally shirt-tailed and brought down. Time becoming precious now for Oregon. UCLA's got the two-down linemen and linebackers and DBs in there now. The pressure on Nelson down the middle. Great catch. By Obi. Set up a screen. That's Lavelle back in the game. Had his ankle retaped. Dives across. You gotta look for some big plays now. Got 11 minutes to go in the ball game. Nelson pumps it. Lobs it up for OB, and it is too far. It's not the way we practiced it. <laughs> Second down and ten. Now Mertens gets it, but it's only good for three or four yards. They need six. Darby coming, passes away, intended for the tight end. That is called the old silo, but it takes an Oregon bounce. He kicked that thing about 15 yards and it rolled another 20. Second down and two. And Nelson, back to throw, goes deep. OB there, it is incomplete. Penalty flag, hold the phone. It's a 15-yard penalty on pass interference by the defense, and that's the way it's going to go. And the ball comes down with a 15-yard penalty to first down. On the UCLA 40-yard line, Nelson trips that ball off. Here comes the end of round. That is Obi. Obi is inside the 30 and down to the Bruins 27. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I like uh, the man. The defensive man's got just as much right as the offensive man. This is Barry. And Barry is swept down. <laughs> Arguing the four old boards that get out there and beat up on defense and you just don't help them at all. This is underneath to the tight end Mertens and Mertens took a hard, hard lay down lineman in there. That's on the linebackers and defensive back. And on third and long, Nelson dancing around, throws deep in the crowd and lost it. It is intercepted by Eric Turner. Second interception of the ball game by the UCLA Bruins and that one... He was wide open, would have picked up the first down. All right, you've got Moore and Farr on the same side. 
spreading the field, and the handoff goes to Brian Brown, and then we'll have it for you on ABC Sports tomorrow morning. Aikman turns and gives to Brown again, and Brian to the 14. Third down and a good five. Aikman out of the pocket, running around. He's going to pick up the first down as he gets to the 27-yard line. On first down. You start apologizing for Mother Nature. Timeouts remaining. Bruins have two. Oregon one. Just right now to a five-man front. And the sixth man comes to the outside. That's the cornerback, Brett Young. And for the Bruins, second down at about 14. Taken down at the 25, and sort of opened up the game for the Bruins. Game in the late in the third quarter. Here's another big factor in this ball game, and that's Troy running outside the pocket. That time, the Ducks pursued him. He can bring it back. Yes, he can. Got some pressure on it, but he got it out. Obi. Penalty flag. Flipping against Oregon. Ooh, they're probably about five players away. Maybe from even winning a championship. Here's the sideline pattern. The ball is caught by Lattenberry. If somebody's going to get a face mask call here. That's right. Holding. Offense. Grabbing the face mask. Defense. Penalties offset this. We'll replay the down. So it's still first and ten. I'll tell you what, Nelson better get a little more zip on that ball because you can't lay it up there like that. Coming across is Sam Archer. Archer gets out of bounds. <laughs> Marcus and Eric. He's open. Yes, he is. Archer, get out of bounds, Sam. And he finally does. Came back this year as a senior, and the coaches love it. Nelson on first down, goes short. Swing it out. Gonna stay with it. Hey, and it's third down and ten. Nelson's pass down the middle, caught and dropped by the tight end, Merton. Didn't hold on. Four linebackers and five defensive backs. That pass is incomplete on 4th and 10. And the ball goes over to the UCLA Bruins. And this game is history. 57 seconds to play. Speaking of Southern California, we'll see the Trojans next week as they go to Tempe against Arizona State. 12th, everybody thinks, could be the ultimate decider. But you better not take a nap between now and the 19th. UCLA Bruins ranked sixth in the nation coming into this ball game, and they certainly shouldn't slip any, considering what they have done today. So the Bruins roll along as they beat the Ducks 16 to 6.